Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. I hope na yung mga math videos ko ay makakatulong sa inyo in solving word problems or mathematical problems. And maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. And sana maging masaya lang tayo in solving those kind of problems. Again, salamat and God bless. Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. For today's video, yung gagawin natin is we will discuss the easy run for the Division MTOP finals of grade 10 students. This video is intended for to answer 10 questions for the easy round. So let's get started with item number 1. Item number 1, what is the slope of the line perpendicular to 5x plus 3y is equal to 2? So in this problem, we are asked to find the slope ng line perpendicular sa, sa, sa equation na to. So, normally, if you will be asked for the slope of a line, the formula is simply negative a over b. But since ang pinapanas natin ay perpendicular, ang kailangan natin kunin ay yung kanyang negative reciprocal. So, we will be using b over a. In this equation, the value of a is simply the value of b is equal to 3. Therefore, the slope in this given problem, which is perpendicular to the given line, you will be having 3 over 5. This is the answer for item number 1. Now, let's proceed with item number 2. Suppose y, is var suppose y varies directly as x. And if x is equal to 4, then y is equal to 12. If x is equal to 6, find y. So, since this one is a 15 second question, you can solve it mentally. But if you're not used to this kind of problem, ang gawin yung dapat is you need to create first the equation. Since varies directly as x, you will create y is equal to kx. And then remember, the formula for the value of k, ang kailangan nyo kasi muna makuha ay constant, k is equal to y over x. Meaning, your k is simply 12 over 4, or the answer is 3. So after nyo makuha yung value ng k, go back to the original equation, and substitute the value of k. So your new equation will be y is equal to 3x. In this problem, the given here is 6, and then you're asked for the value of y. So you simply have y is equal to 3 times 6. So the final answer, or the value of y, is simply 18. That's it. Now let's proceed with item number 3. We have here x raised to 22 is equal to 4. What is x raised to 44? Now, para masolve to, or for you to solve this mentally, you need to compare first the exponents of x. From x raised to 22, it became x raised to 44. Now, what happened to the exponent of 22? It is simply multiplied by 2 to make it 44. Now, the value of x raised to 22 is simply 4. The exponent of 4 is simply 1, and then multiply it by 2, it will become 4 raised to 2, or simply 16. Therefore, the answer for item number 3 is 16. Let's go with number Four. List down the roots of the quadratic equation x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. The factors of this quadratic equation is simply x plus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, the values of x are 2 and negative 3. These are the values of x. Now let's go and solve for item number 5. The given here is that we need to find the square of 3 plus the square root of 3. So since we're as for the square, you can use this pattern. We have x plus y raised to 2 that is equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. If hindi nyo pa nakakabisado, this is your x, this is your y. And then following this pattern, you will simply have 3 squared plus 2 times 3 
square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 raised to 2. Simplifying this, you will have 9 plus 6 square root of 3, and this is simply 3. Therefore, the square of 3 plus the square root of 3 is simply 12 plus 6 square root of 3. That's it for item number 5. Now let's proceed with item number 6. In number 6, it says here that two sides of a triangle are 5 centimeters and 7 centimeters. The third side has the integer length in centimeters. What is the largest possible length in centimeters? So dito, ang ginagawa ko dito, I'm creating an inequality na kung saan yung variable x ay nasa gitna. So, kailangan natin ng dalawang boundaries sa left and right. So, unan yung gagawin, get the difference of 7 and 5. 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. And then, get their sum, which is 5 plus 7, which is equal to 12. And then, I will create an inequality. So, ito yung maging inequality natin. Let's represent the third side as x. The third side is greater than 2 centimeters but less than 12. Now, the question here, what is the largest possible length in centimeters? So, basing this on this inequality, it is not 12. It is just 11. So, the answer here for item number 6 is simply 11 centimeters. So, let's proceed with number 7. So, determine the vertex of f of x is equal to 4x minus x squared. So, I will show you two different solutions on how to deal with number 7. For the vertex, di ba alam natin ang coordinates ng vertex natin is simply h comma k. May formula tayo sa h na negative b all over 2a. In this given problem, your a is equal to negative 1 and your b is 4. And then, to find the value of h, substitute lang natin yan. You will be having negative 4 over 2 times negative 1. Your h is simply 2. And now, to find the value of k, simply replace f of x as k. And then, you will have 4x minus x squared. Then, your h is also equal to x. You can plug in the value of x here in your equation. So, therefore... Your k is simply 4 times 2 minus 2 raised to 2. And simplifying the value of k, you will have 4. Meaning, if you have h and k, or if you are asked for the vertex, the vertex is simply 2, comma 4. This is the answer for item number 7. Now, let us answer item number 8. Sabi dito sa problem natin, a square has an area of 36 cm squared. Ang pinapagawa sa atin dito is we need to find the area in cm squared of a square with half the perimeter. So first thing na kunin, pwede niyo gawin is to get the side of the original square with 36 cm squared. So the formula is simply S is equal to the square root of 36 cm squared. So, to simplify that radical, your S is simply 6 cm. So, ito na ngayon yung side ng original square natin. Ang gagawin nyo ngayon is hanapin naman yung perimeter ng square. So, ang perimeter natin ay 4 PS. So, the perimeter is simply 4 times 6 cm squared or simply 24 cm. Kung babalikan nyo yung problem, Sabi dito, find the area in centimeter squared of a square with half the perimeter. So, kunin natin yung kalahati nito, divided by 2. So, the perimeter na gagamitin natin is 12 centimeters. Ang gagawin nyo ngayon, is hanapin yung side. Since your perimeter is 12 centimeters, therefore, the length of each side is simply 3 centimeters. Why? Divided by 4. And now, puntahan natin. Sabi yung area. So, area is equal to S squared. So, area is equal to 3 centimeters squared. And then, the answer for item number 8 is simply 9 
centimeters squared. Now for item number 9, sa problem natin, we have a rhombus has diagonals with lengths 4 centimeters and 6 centimeters. Find its perimeter in centimeters. Mayroong ibang method nito pero mas mahaba. But I will give you the formula directly ng perimeter given the diagonals. Ang formula natin for the perimeter is simply P is equal to 2 square root of P squared plus Q squared. I'm using P and Q to represent the diagonals of the rhombus. So, ang gagawin natin dito, you will have 2 times 4 squared plus 6 squared. And simplifying your exponents, you will have 2 square root of 16 plus 36. And this is 2 times square root of 52. So, simplifying your radical, you will have 2 times 2 or pakita lang natin. You can factor out 52 as 4 times 13. And then this will become P is equal to 2 times 2 as the square root of two, 4 times the square root of 13. So the perimeter of the rhombus with diagonals 4 centimeters and 6 centimeters is simply 4 square root of 13 centimeters. This is the answer for item number 9 of the division finals for grade 9. Now let's go with our last problem our last problem is simply f of x is equal to x squared simplify f of x plus 4 minus f of x so it in given function at then we have f of x is equal to x squared kung mapansin nyo pwede nyo gawin dito evaluate nyo muna yung f of x plus 4 ang mangyayari ay meron kang ganyang x plus 4 raised to 2. So, the answer is simply x squared plus 8x plus 16. Yan yung ating f of x plus 4. And then, yung f of x naman natin ay walang pinagbago. Siya ay x squared pa rin. At ang sabi dito, evaluate daw natin to or simplify. So, ang gagawin nyo lang ngayon is you will have f of x plus 4 minus f of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16 minus the value of your fx or f of x is simply x squared. So, makakancel na natin to or magiging zero na siya. Meaning, the answer is number 10 is simply x raised to x plus 16. So, Ayan yung ating 10 items for the easy round of the Division Finals for Grade 9, 2019. So kung meron kayo mga gustong ipadiscuss na video or topic sa, sa aking YouTube channel, you can easily comment down below para mabasa ko yung inyong mga suggestion. So again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsuporta. Please like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you.